here is Arislan Di Lara, 38 years old. He is a highly ranked at 154 pounds, but now moving up to 160. Again, 38 years old, Thomas Lamana. We go to the tail of the tape. Is in his prime at 29. He's also the taller man in the ring at six foot one. He's a natural middleweight. Lara moving up in weight. Reach advantage still goes to Lara. Again, Lara, uh, really the class of this fight, but he's getting a little older. Lamana gets his shot at a big name and uh, a belt of sorts. We go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from Dignity Health Sports Park here in Carson, California, Premier Boxing Champions presents the Fox Sports PBC featured attraction brought to you by TGB Promotions and sponsored by GEICO. Whether you rent or own, GEICO makes it easy to bundle car and home insurance. Go to GEICO.com today. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, the president, Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. Judging at ringside, Sergio Caiz, Robert Hoyle, and Ron Scott Stevens. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA middleweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Carson, California, it's time for the Fox Sports PBC main event of the evening. Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with silver and white trim, joining us from Belleville, New Jersey. He weighed in at already 159 pounds, with a record of 30 wins, four losses and one draw. He has 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the world-ranked middleweight contender, introducing Thomas Cornflake Lamana. And his opponent across the ring, finding out of the blue corner this vacant world championship attraction, wearing gold trunks with white trim, originally from Guantanamo, Cuba, now finding out of Houston, Texas. He weighed in at 159 and one half pounds, with a record of 27 wins, three losses and three draws. He has 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the two-time and current 154-pound champion of the world, introducing Edis Lundy, the American Dream Lara. And referee in charge now to give instructions, Thomas Taylor. Chief second, boxer. Mouthpiece, let me see the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Okay, gentlemen, hang on, hang on. Belt line is good here, belt line is good here. I gave your instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my commands. Touch them up. Good luck, gentlemen. Good. Arislan Lara, Thomas Lamana. By the way, the tail of the tape was brought to you by Credible.com. Lamana, big step up in class. Lara, 38 years old. Again, a long time top 10, if not top five fighter at 154 pounds. Highly respected, uh, highly feared. A guy who's fought the best in the world. Lost a close competitive split decision to Canelo Alvarez way back in 2014. Uh, but here he keeps campaigning at the age of 38. You wonder, can uh, Thomas Lamana hang with the big boy? I, look, I, I think Lamana's in great shape. I think he's really learned from his losses, uh, you know, especially against Coda. Watch the feet, John. Uh, you know, he's, he's gone to work. I, I talk to him every so often by text and phone, and he's worked hard for this fight. He brought it, he had about 140 rounds of sparring against Southpaws. I think he'll make a good accounting of himself here, but he's in with one of the best who ever laced them up, so. Such a high level of skill, John. Yeah. You see right there, he's just able to get under that right hand. Uh, so deftly, Lara is so highly skilled. And Lamana said, hey, look, I'm going to get after this guy. I hope I don't have to bring my track shoes. So far, Lara is the one stepping to Lamana. Good oh. hard left hand straight up the middle, again. And Lamana said that he was always concerned about that punch, but here he sees it straight in the first round, that left coming straight through. It, it did, and what he did was... After, oh. oh, that hurt him right there. That is a quick, lightning-fast left hand from Lara. See, and that's because he's walking straight in, uh, Lamana. He's... He's got to really come in from the left or right side. Take your pick. 
but you can't walk straight in. These guys live off the guys walking. Down he goes, oh. one left hand, oh. and Lara puts Lamont on his back in his fight. It is over. One shot, Whoa. it's over. Let me tell you, Lamont was saying that, you know, he was concerned about uh, Lara's left hand, and he didn't see it. And usually, the punch that knocks you out, you don't see. You know, he was even talking brave when we were talking to him, Lennox, earlier this week. But he said, hey, look, I don't, I think he's got flat tires, but I know he's got a shotgun left. So he was aware of it, and yet it's different when you see it in person. Absolutely. But, Brian, you saw how, you saw how Laura set him up for that. He threw about four straight right hands right down the middle. He got Lamana to start closing up the middle. And then he went around the guard with that little, little looping left hand. And just caught him flush. And and it's a good that. point, Joe. He's, there's such nuance of skill that yeah. Laura has from his decades of boxing. He's just at another level. That didn't happen by accident. Yeah. He set him up. Laura just won another title. Well, Lennox, look, that, this, and you heard Jimmy Lennon mention it. It's a WBA middleweight belt. I just want to tell fans uh, there is a WBA super champ, Ryota Murata. There's a WBA interim champ, that's Chris Eubank, and then their third world title is the belt that they're going to give to Laura right now. So there's three world titles within one sanctioning body, and there's four to five sanctioning bodies. So I'm just saying he's world class, but is he the middleweight champion? I mean, no. That's all I'm saying. He's world class. Yeah, look, he's he's more than world class. I mean, he's he's really a step above a lot of guys. Uh, and, oh no, and, and, no, Joe. I'm just yeah. saying this belt, like to say middleweight champion of the world. And here's the no. replay. Yeah. Here it goes. Well, oh my goodness. See, he he made the same mistake Ryan Garcia made uh, against Campbell by extending his arms to try to block a punch, and Laura came right over the top and cracked him with that left hand. Hey, look, Laura also said, now that Canelo Alvarez is, is the former middleweight champion, he's moved up to 168. Laura says, I'll take on everybody, including Triple G, who could be the best middleweight in the world right now. I, look, I, you don't put anything past a guy like Laura nope. because they're so exceptionally skilled. They've been around. They fought everybody. Olympian, three-time this, four-time that. Look, the guy's, you know, he's got credentials uh, that, you know, are an arm long. So I, I wouldn't put anything past him. Lamana now getting to his feet, so yeah. that's a good sign, but he just got yeah. starched, and he knows it. He's been in the ring a lot, and he just has to deal with this physically and psychologically as well. We'll step aside for a moment. Lamana obviously disappointed and physically hurt. Yeah. Laura did a number on him there. Again, 38 years old, still in superb condition and pinpoint accurate, and there's that left hand over the top that ended the night for Thomas Lamana. Welcome back to Dignity Health Sports Park here in Carson, California. Mikey Garcia, your thoughts on what just happened right there? Oh, terrific, terrific punch by Lara. You know, typically he's not known for a big puncher, but tonight he turned it up. 38 years old, Sean. Decades of experience paid off right there. That was, don't blink. Listen, the American dream is not done yet. <laughs> and BK, I got to tell you right now, I understand there's three world champions in the WA, in the WBA uh, sanctioning body, but Lara is m by far the best WBA champion that they have. Give him credit for what he did tonight. He is still live and ready to fight and become a champion again, the biggest champion at the 160-pound division. We will get down ringside here in a second, but Sean, you and I, again, of course, as the newcomer up here, you know, you were just talking about how great <laughs> Lara was and yeah. how underrated really yeah. this guy is and Listen, why he does get more attention. And why that, I think, if anything, I'm sorry to cut you off, but okay. that was like the element that he's been missing is his ability to knock out guys. He, you know, he he likes, he's a boxer, he's Cuban. He does, he does it all behind his hands, but tonight he stepped up, big overhand left, that was amazing. Awesome, back to back knockouts to start the evening here. Now let's go down ringside with Brian Kenny. Boy, Sean Porter with the shot across the bow. Huh? I'm coming for you. All right, Sean, you come down for the main event. You want some, come get some. By the way, I don't disagree with that. I think he is the best of the WBA champions, but there are three of them, just making you aware. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 20 seconds in round number one. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is now a two weight division world champion and the new WBA middleweight champion of the world. It is Lundy, the American dream, Lara. Another thing I agree with Lennox Lewis that Sean Porter just said, that was an element that was missing. Excitement in an Arislandi-Lara fight. That was exciting. Yes. 
And even if Joe Goosen, he's kind of, you know, he outclassed Lamana in this fight. Yeah. You got to show up, you got to be in shape, you got to fight the fight, and he did it. Well, you're supposed to do exactly that to the guys that are at that level when you're on a different level. You're supposed to do that. You're not supposed to get dragged into seven, eight, nine rounds. But here we go. Here's the, another look at that shot. And it was just a nice trick. He came down the middle with three, four straight left hands, set up Lamana. Lamana stretched his hands out, and he actually saw that punch coming. And it cracked him right on the side of the chin. Joe, so, you, know, you know what I call that punch? The baseball punch. Yeah. The pitcher. The pitcher. Yeah, right. <laughs> I usually throw that punch once yeah. in a while. Yeah, he came off the mound with everything, didn't he? Yeah.